<laughs> to hurt someone? Yeah. Don't look at me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Am I a sacrificial lamb? No, you're okay, okay, okay. You're okay. Fine. That's why we brought you up. <laughs> <on> <laughs> this is this how we found? Is this the yeah. finale? Is like, this how we? And then we kill someone. No, wait, hold yeah. on. Please. Yeah. Didn't we tell you about that? I didn't say kill. I thought producing was hard enough without having to tell. That's hour twenty nine. See, it's not up yet. Hour twenty nine. You know, a lot of people. Well, is it seven really? Is it actually seven? Yeah, it's seven. Oh, this hour is sponsored by Step House. Yep. And our charity for the hour is Pear. Woohoo! I need to switch over to the charity. You, why don't you? You want me to grab my laptop? Yeah, why don't you laptop? get your laptop? And here, let me and hold got, that for you. We got, and yeah. I wanted to say that uh, people have asked me, why don't you do charities during your burlesque show, Tease Time? And I said, well, I why would like. Why don't you do charities during Here's your... why. It's easier to get with professionals who already know how to produce effective charities mm. where we know where the funds will go and bring our talent to you yeah. instead of to pretend that we are efficient enough. Well, we are not professionals at, at <laughs> getting the charity thing. But, no, they, no, no. but what's wonderful about the way you're doing <laughs> this is that the charities aren't going through any hands. It's going directly to the charity. Correct. Dig it. Correct. It goes directly. I mean, unless someone hands us cash and then we take it and donate it or a check, the check still goes directly to the charity. And they're making it out to the charity, so there's exactly. no fumbling. Yes, there's yeah. no mistake about where no. the funds go to. It no. goes straight to the charity. It's also the easiest way to make sure it's tax deductible for the donator. Right. So it's it's pretty. It's awesome learning experience. It's just awesome. Hey, Frankie. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, uh -oh. Morgan. I cannot remember how we met. Ooh, that's so crazy. Uh, oh, I can. Whitney Street. Oh. Whitney. Oh. Whitney Street is a comedian who's been a part of my burlesque show, Pasty Parade. And she was speaking. She says, you know jugglers. You love jugglers. We need to introduce you to Morgan. And Whitney Street is famous for her joke called, what could be more Portland then? Mm -hmm. And then she fills in the blanks. It's really funny. It's really cute. And I should note that I Whitney utilized Street. Whitney Street's extreme talent at booking comics to fill yes. a three-hour block of yeah, it was of, crazy. Uh, overnight I was slumber watching party. you in your pajamas with the live comedy show, mm -hmm. and I was so yeah. entertained last yeah. night. And we learned how to play ukulele until the guy teaching us. Bill, Felt sorry for us. He, he gave us one Let lesson. Us he intended to give us three. He gave us oh. one lesson, and then he was like, "Oh yeah, no." <laughs> We're yeah. not doing this again. The They're only way we could play a song while you're punching was by like each playing one chord. I would yeah. play a chord, he would play a chord. That's how the song got played. We would nice. not each play two chords. So Bill gave up and performed for us instead. <laughs> it's teamwork. That's awesome. It was also really late. It was late. My fingers hurt. Early. It was really early. Late, late. slash early. Whatever. It's that whole, you know, 4 a.m. in the morning thing. I hate it when people say that. It's one of my pet peeves. 4 like a.m. in the morning. If it's a.m., <laughs> I know it's the morning. Please don't tell me. I don't need you to explain that just to a, me. Just a.m. is enough description. Yes. When or 4 in the morning. Either 4 in the yeah. morning or 4 a.m. I don't need both. Let me ask you, Cammie. Okay. And Rick. Yes. Are you happy you did it? Are you happy you created 30 hour day? Yes. Yes. Along with Dr. Normal. Yeah, He's it, strolling it, across the stair. You can't square. see. Whose show is extremely entertaining. Crazy talk. Right there. But um, you guys yeah. are the trifecta of uh, broadcast for this unique style of mm -hmm. collecting money for charity. Yeah. Pretty interesting. And well, and we, we talked about it a little bit that um, the first one, we really had no idea what would happen. Mm -mm. And this one, we changed enough of the dynamic. I mean, it's we during really the summer. We really had no idea what was going to happen. It's outside. Right. You know, we did, we didn't. It's in Pioneer Square. We didn't really know what was going to happen this time either. But now I think, between the two, uh -huh. we've learned quite a bit about like what works and what doesn't and Boy. what should happen. Wait, so, my so if we do it again, we'll do something that makes us have no idea what's going to happen. Or is this the first year that people were at the square uh, interacting? This is the first time we this were the first, at the square. This is the first time okay. we had an open set. The first time awesome. it was all closed. Mm -hmm. So it was just the talent closed and circuit. the volunteers mm -hmm. in the in the, uh, yeah. in the studio. Yeah, and right. so this time we were interested to see how many people would come out yeah. and you know what they what kind of crowd we would draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we actually had a lot of people coming up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when the bands a lot were of up. The, a lot of the acts. Yeah, you put really a band great. on stage and people will flock to yeah. it. Man, the Twang Shifters really killed it on Friday. The Twang huh? Shifters. They're amazing. Were awesome. And, and they the, stopped by on their way to another gig. Yeah. It was really 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 nice of them and they Definitely. were phenomenal. A lot of talent. Yeah, yeah. they would, like had to, by the time when they were done here, I think they had 2 hours before the next gig started. That's right. That's right. So I think it's funny that um, 
that the way you and I met is because, oh my God, next time I want jugglers. I said, yes, I want jugglers. You did. You said, I want jugglers. By golly, if I don't have jugglers, I'm going to have, you know, I feel that I'm going to be way mad. about every show. And I right? keep trying to expand the juggling roster for this reason. And we have no jugglers. Although two of them are out of town and one broke his wrist. We had no jugglers. One broke his wrist and two are out of town. We had Ranger was the still Hoop awesome. Groover. Ranger, know. you know what? The Hoop Grooving is kind yeah. of, it's pretty close to juggling. Ranger. Yeah. She was awesome. Ranger. Ranger. And an inspiring great. story. Who had a positive experience with Pear. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. That was yep. really cool. I love hearing those stories about things coming around. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, I had that same similar experience yeah. with a lot of stuff. And yeah. the Portland community, like I was reading some of your comments about, you know, how this can happen. Mm -hmm. It's true. We really are lucky in Portland that people care about giving back because they do come together. People do pull together. Yeah. It's awesome yeah. to be a and part. I mean, and this is another, I think, the thing that makes this really interesting to us is I think the the Portland tech community is very supportive of one another, but this chance to interact with the creative and musical community in town mm -hmm. and really, and the food really community bridge, too. and the food community the and geeks really and the cool people. It's, it, well, it's, it's I'm all, sorry, I'm and a they're geek. all. Are they're, you? Oh, I am. And you're cool because you have tattoos, combo. Right? Yeah. My tattoos are what makes me cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Doing very Fine, raunchy Frankie. banter. Fine, Frankie. But I love this. Woo. Thank you. God. Hi. They don't get to see my back very often. <laughs> I just got initiated with tattoos, so it's a thrill. Oh. This year. Yeah. Yeah, didn't you get your tattoo done during a show? Yeah, one of our sponsors, Lady Luck Tattoo, did me live. Nice. At our burlesque wow. show. Very nice. I know, I gotta recruit you. You need something right here. Around that the, cleavage. The breast Doesn't plate cleavage piece? sell? Cleavage, yeah, it does sell. So we need to people look at the cleavage and <laughs> donate to charity right now. There's a <laughs> lot of cleavage up. on the There's a lot of cleavage right? up here. There's a cleavage. <laughs> I feel like I'm not holding my <laughs> own with the cleavage. You're not. I'm sorry. You're not. It's true. You <laughs> but are. I can tell you how much has been donated so far. So um, we're at, we're at uh, 1565 in terms of the well money that's been then. donated. So it's starting to roll in. It would be nice if we saw some more. Yeah. You're, so I'm, I'm going to... Oh, I'm just going to say, I know that Dr. Normal had some, uh, some stuff he wanted to roll on the stream. I'm wondering if we have his attention. I don't think hey, so. Hey, Tyler, do you know what Doc wanted to roll? Can we, can we roll that? I think, I think we're getting the, the intro. We're getting and the, the non-producer roll. He's like, I don't, I don't work here. There's Mr. I, Normal I now. just showed up for the food. Oh, yeah, see, there we go. Now we've got someone in charge. He's, Dr. He, Normal's kicking people out of the booth he, so we can get stuff done. He heard he got pie. Yeah. Hey, can I give a shout out? You sure can. Absolutely. I want to give a do. shout out to my assistant. Louie. I know I love it. Louie, thank you <laughs> oh, for all your help thank today. Thank you, Louie. You were amazing. Yeah. I want to give a shout great. out to my assistant. Where is she? Oh, Where? there she is. Hey, Megan. Megan Hi. Kate. Thank you so much for being my wonderful assistant, for taking care of me for forcing me to change my clothing and brush my teeth and, and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> oh, stop. stop. No, you do so many wonderful things for me. <laughs> Megan, you're beautiful. Megan, I love you. Megan, you're so sweet. <laughs> oh, OK. I'm done. Right. I'm going to give a shout out. I'll out tell you later awesome. more, but still. My awesome. shout outs to Amanda Richards, Asha oh. Krasezik, to Ranger the Hoop Groover, mm -hmm. and at 11.30, Nina Nightshade. Oh, Nina was fantastic as well. Huh? Yeah. She drove from Salem to participate. Yes. Oh, and the, the, the hip hop. Oh, my the goodness. The un unseen, unseen hip hop, hip -hop group. True. They were awesome. They're performing awesome. at Phenomenal. the Imago Theater. It's really nice when you're not doing a show in a bar to exhibit under 21 talent, yeah. which we got to see today. Yeah, That's that was awesome. Some, they were under 21? Under 20, oh, 21 yes, talent. they were far under 21. You know, under hey, 21, Doc. your knees are still good as a dancer. Let's save the intro for when we start talking again. And uh, why don't you, you want to roll your, your Tara Hunt footage? You need a mic? Dr. Normal, everybody. Woohoo! Come on up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes. This is a sandwich. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh hell yeah. Normal. He likes the ladies. <laughs> I do like the ladies. That's how I roll. Uh, so, uh, speaking of like the ladies, uh, Tara Hunt uh, had a lot of fun last night on Crazy Talk, where we had a webcam at uh, like 3.30 
a.m. Montreal time, like 4.30, on our dog. So we had a lot of fun with that. We were Skyping her in. And was that puppy camp? It was a puppy cam. Uh, it probably got like thousands of viewers. <laughs> so Sarah Hans puppy. Seriously, though, she made a really nice 10 minute, because of the time zone difference and all that, she made a really, really nice 10 minute uh, video uh, I think it's My Life in Montreal or something like that. My So-Called um, Life in Montreal? My, I think so, yeah. I think that's what it's called. Uh, Tarhunt, the author of the Woofy Factor. I got that right, right? Woofy? Yes, no, no Woofy. It's so woofy. late. It's, it's uh, Woofy. Woofy. Woofy is a pie. Woofy, woofy is a factor. It's something else. So we're going to roll it's that really now. You guys else. ready to roll that back there, nodding their heads? Woofy up. You ready to roll that? So while, while you're watching uh, we, Tara's video, please here. go to 30hourday.org and donate right donate. now. All proceeds yeah, are going to Please donate. 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 That's donate. obnoxious. Donate. donate. Yeah, no, because this is the part I don't like. Because we're doing all this hard work to get some yeah. money to Money for some charities. Yeah, make my Red feet Cross hurting be worthwhile. Oregon. Tell Excuse Morgan me. if she wants her feet to hurt, she can are trade we, shoes with me. I see... <laughs> Three or four different people <laughs> looking over the board. So I may uh, just go back. Do you guys there have that video? We'll start that video up. Thank you, Dr. Normal. You right. make that happen. Thank you, Dr. Normal. Dr. Normal. I think the Four. next 30 hour day should end with a massive oversized bed mm -hmm. where we just lay there in our clothes and talk. Are you, are you going to stick around for the end? I don't know. Should I? Well, if you want to see, we, we just kind of do a rap party. We have Steph Strickland come down. I think she's just going to interview us. Who did very well during the dance She did, lesson. didn't she? Yeah. Hello, participants and watchers of the 30-hour day marathon. I created a bit of a montage. Now, this montage is of people who I know and love and hang out with and think are pretty awesome in Montreal. Little bits and pieces here and there, just to try to give you a sense of the cool stuff that's going on around me. So, shall we begin? I'm about to set out on a rollerblading journey through Montreal. Bladers and cyclists, people running, etc. An active kind of lifestyle. To go from like one end of the city to the other, actually one end of the island to the other. And it's quite a big little island too. I've yet to uh, conquer it. Right now we're doing a photo shoot in my house. My friend Eva Blue, who happens to be a fantastic photographer, had rented a bunch of great lights and stuff like that. He messaged me out of the blue and said, hey, would a photo shoot cheer you up? And boy, did it ever. Complete with pink bikini, whipped cream, redoing, uh, trying to redo Katy Perry's California Girls in a spectacular way. I'm going to show you a maze photo shoot as well with Eva shooting it. And today, something else. A little bit out of my scope, but totally <laughs> fun. <laughs> How long ago did you start taking pictures? 
I started about three years ago, just over three years ago. Wow. Um, a year I probably went to over a hundred sh shows in a year. So, who am I talking with right now? Eric the Tutor. Uh, well, actually I started as a math tutor. I, was, I taught statistics for ten years and got kind of bored of that. And But everyone just knew me as Eric the Tutor, so now I DJ under that name. What do you do here in Montreal? Uh, DJ a few nights a week. Um, try and enjoy myself as much as I can. Work hard, practice my DJing all day. And uh, have fun with Tara. <laughs> and uh, you're what? On Twitter, you're. Eric the Tutor. Everywhere, you're pretty Eric, much. Yeah, Facebook.com, Eric the Tutor. And like a MySpace. Yeah, Eric the Tutor also. Eric, yeah. Eric the, every, everywhere. Yeah, Eric the Tutor, that's people know me. Yeah. He really, really likes Apple Break. <laughs> what, what's, what's the glasses all about? Uh, I guess it's just part of like, it's just a gimmick, you know, it's supposed to be part of my nerdy persona. Eric the Tutor is kind of nerdy and uh, I always kind of like uh, frown on people who just thought they were super cool and stuff like that. my two wonderful co-founders on Schwab. Um, I was like super lucky to meet them when I moved to Montreal. And these two very innocent, unbeknownst to them, started working with me uh, no matter what. I was living away from uh, Montreal for 17 years and I'm native from here. And I spent a lot of time um, in Toronto, I spent time in New York, I spent time in Miami. And I, I decided to back to Montreal and I was, was drawn back here actually and I had the feeling that this would be the place where I would build um, a very successful startup and so after uh, my absence of 18 years moved back to Montreal in October um, not knowing at all whom and what and how it's going to, you know, how it was going to shape up that I should meet Tara and that for some reason or another uh, it would click. For the serendipity uh, part, I also had an idea called uh, Semantic Commerce like uh, five years ago. And I thought the idea was too uh, crazy and too big. We began to talk about uh, working on a project together. It was uh, not really Schwab at that point, it was something else. But uh, while talking about the project, I, I learned that Tara had, again, the same idea I talked about, and she had all the marketing side uh, of the idea when she explained it, and uh, I thought of the technology part, so the day after we went uh, to have a drink, well, quite a few drinks actually, <laughs> and uh, we decided what the heck we have to do with this, and uh, that's how Swap really began. Hey, I love you guys. Love you. <laughs> Training walks. Uh, I'm Jonas. This is Frank. I'm Dave. And I'm Dave. What are we doing? We are Here. about to start a CrossFit mom. It's a full body workout. We're gonna go up to the reservoir, do a little bit of stretching, and then get in. So a mob is a group of people that get together spontaneously to train. And that's what everybody's here for today. And um, a CrossFit mob is just a full body workout which includes um, jogging, in this case includes chin-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, uh, and it really hits your whole body, so it should be a lot of fun. One lap of the field, finish your lap, 15 burpees or 15 chin-ups, you burpees, jump down, push-up, jump in, jump up, next, 20. We do push-ups, but offset. So one hand close, one hand far, and you switch every push-up. One. 25 either reverse crunches or heels to the heaven. So reverse crunches, 25 like this. Or the harder one is up, up. That's and 30 side up. lunges. That's one. That's two. So each one on each side counts as one.
I do it for the joy of suffering with other people. That's, That's awesome. I do it. That's the reason to do it, do anything really in life, is for True. the joy of suffering it with others. Because we were born to connect, even if it's through suffering. <laughs> Ari, Ari Gold Cell, you want to hug it out, bitch? Let's, uh. hug, it out. Let's hug it out. <laughs> Okay, you and I just met. We did just meet. How, does, how did that work? We met because of social media. We met because we went to karaoke. And I didn't know who you were, and you certainly... Who, who, who knows who 100 Jobs is, You really? asked the most irritating questions, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I love you, too. I'm trying out a bunch of different one-day jobs, a bunch of different careers. I'm meeting a lot of new people, but it does capture who I am as a person. I love meeting new people. I'm very... I get bored really quickly. Um, I got really bored the first time I met you within five minutes. <laughs> it's all right. I was bored with you, too. It's good. <laughs> and yes. then I was like, oh, she's growing on me. Yes, Did I, I do the same for you? Yes, <laughs> you, you won me over. So much so that I'm going to get into a bikini and model. But you didn't pay me my hundred bucks yet. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that was part of the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the best kinds of friendships start with extortion. <laughs> dark <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of time left that's okay though because we have something awesome no, it's, planned. it's good and we have something awesome planned hmm. i'm kim and chaos that's rich rosie doesn't matter right now not you what, either uh, 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 charlie mcgowan charlie's gotta, gonna do the work the now lights a little bit so we've made charlie do all sorts of work this is the bring people up who did all sorts of work barely, segment barely standing at this point. <laughs> Charlie is You're barely actually standing. sitting, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's really nice on my knees. Really nice on my knees. Uh, Charlie not only uh, was the in the first band that we wanted to book for 30 Hour Day 2, it was also the band that, the, that had the intro right the there, intro Target song. for Tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction. Yes. Uh, he's also been the AV crew and uh, he schlepped yeah. equipment. Aaron, Aaron and I have been the entire... <laughs> yes, you no, and not Aaron. not the entire, not the entire. All That's the what, daytime in the square stuff. the credit stealer. All um, the daytime, and, and you. Yeah. So basically, it says on there, it says 30, right? It says that means at 30 minutes, we're going to do the big bus interview with Richard Mavis. Eh, you know, well, it's Dick issue. isn't here at the moment. Oh. So, and we got five minutes for him to get here. My I, bet is that he won't be here in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to swap that little list there, and we're going to okay. go with the musical guests first. Because they are here. We, they are here. So, for those of you that aren't familiar with the term of busking, in the American Heritage Dictionary, it reads something like street performer. Hey, aren't like, we kind of doing a big busk interview right now with Charlie? No, 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 no. I'm just sort of, I'm, I'm just sort giving of. the brief synopsis here. I'm just saying. That may be too so many qualifies. syllables, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, A-Dog, what's that feedback? Aaron? A-Dog being Aaron. A-Dog. We've got That's too right. many Aaron's. It, it doesn't confusing. matter, though. Um, 
So essentially, uh, as Rich will probably explain later, because he doesn't know that I'm telling it now, <laughs> <laughs> busking is street performance. And uh, if you're a busker, you are a street performer. And the whole deal is uh, with the big busk. Actually, I don't even want to ruin it. Well, I'm just going to introduce these fellows. Are they ready We're gonna yet? We're going to play at the big bus. They're not ready yet. So oh, I'm they're not gonna... ready, so you're going to ruin it. Ruin it. Is yeah, profanity go allowed? Can go I go away. for profanity? I'm looking, mm, I don't kids, know. All right, what about kids. inebriation? How about that? Just kidding. I sound like PDX sucks, but they're not around <laughs> anymore. No, they'll be here. They'll be on at 8.30. Yes. Wait, the actual Portland sucks, or is it morning no. submission? PDX sucks. PDX FM. Farewell. Oh, PDX yes. FM. Farewell okay. to 30 Hour Day. For 30 minutes. I'm really out of it. I'm yeah. sorry. It's okay. You didn't You didn't you did. book the shows. Yeah. It's no, it's cool, right. though. Booking the shows was awesome, though. It was nice having a stage manager today. That was great. We're we still stretch. stretching. We're good. We're I'll stretch. Hang on. I'll stretch real quick. <coughs> Charlie McGowan, ladies nice. and gentlemen. Charlie Let's McGowan. Let's get one of those Charlie leaps. Who what? Hey, if anybody wants to book our band, Target for Tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction, if you are on yeah. the internet right now, yep. what's you your website? Do some. It's uh, facebook.com slash Target for Tomorrow. Because mm -hmm. MySpace sucks now. Yeah, Woo! yeah. I went there. I went and there. And where can they get your album? They can get our album off iTunes and, and all that stuff. This is a really, really shameless plug. Wait, on what? Oh, yeah, we also have it Ooh. on us. So if you're at the Come square. On down. You can get our four-track EP for various items. If you want to trade things or <laughs> like money, money would be nice, but we'll take beer or other <laughs> items. That works too. I don't know. I'm just bantering. How are you guys holding up? Good. You've been up for wait how long now? I was up at eight o'clock yesterday. We're at hour twenty-eight. And I've been up since eight o'clock yesterday. How, how can it be hour twenty-eight? So because like, like 30 that means in two hours it's hour thirty, which means you're done, right? But that would be at nine o'clock, and I know this is done at ten. Correct me it's if I'm wrong. It's the beginning of hour twenty-eight. So you're going to the very end of hour go, thirty. Yes. It doesn't mean that hour thirty is the cutoff point. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Now that's just a jib. Correct. We stop <laughs> at ten p.m. It that, will have been thirty who hours. The, who wrote that up? You guys there's got jib there. There's some bylaws and some rules say hour that we don't really like, want to yes! get into. That, yeah, and then no. it's like, oh wait, oh, we still got sixty an hour. more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Crap. But the last sixty minutes are just kind of like okay. Uh, that strip no, wait. comes on. You see these two guys on rollerblades? Look, yeah. we have no cameras here, so hang on. We got to yeah. turn these thank cameras on. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie's gonna run some now, cameras. These guys and they showed are up now earlier. running wait. away. No, no, look at this. Can we get the camera? Oh, they're skating off. Uh, they're skating bye, off there. Bye, guys. guys. <laughs> Basically, I told those guys earlier. I was like, "Look it, you guys have acoustic guitars in your hand. Was that on that bench? I bet it was." Um, and I was like, "We got a busking <laughs> thing later. You guys should check it out because you look like buskers." I didn't think they'd actually show up. I know I just scared them off. But, uh, Bye, guys. They're running. On rollerblades. Thanks running for coming. For, for they actually lives. came. It was really nice. Even though I just definitely scared them off. All right. Can we start now, Aaron? No. Are we good? No? Oh, not why not? Because you're there. No, we can just... Like you're on that side of the stage. What do I need to do? All right. We have a heckler. All right. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, Craig, let's try your vocals again. Craig, this is so sweet. I love it. <laughs> We're hanging in here. We're waiting. I know. <laughs> Slowly, waiting. but surely. You know what we could do? Like, we could point out that uh, this is like Sean our of sponsor the dead, right now is Step House. Yeah, providing all the connectivity mm -hmm. for the show. And we're still raising money for Pear. No, wait. We are. Wasn't Intel one of the sponsors? They were, yes. Which hour was that? They provided the... Um, right, the, monitors. the monitors. I don't know what hour it was. It might the be what? next hour. It's wait. at some point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we made wait. it for 27 hours I know. without an incident. Yes, I'm talking. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. What's your favorite part of Portland? My favorite part of Portland? Or about Portland. That works, My too. My favorite thing about oh, Portland? Uh, no. Hmm. What's <laughs> this guy's going to crack me up some more. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Good to go. Okay. We're good to go. Let's what? do it. All right. Okay, great. Introducing right. Craig cool. Irby Jr. and Brian Barlow. Somebody... I 
most of the time, but it's late at night. In the back of my friend's right. Hit a stop sign, but a road. Up the corner there's a park Stumble there sometimes after dark Just give me one more minute The water tower lover just likes to wink at me Says don't climb, I'll find another way The rocks in my shoes disagree with me I Keep trekking on my taste this journey But comfortable I swear I will oh, Just give me one more Just give me one more One more Thank you. My name is Craig Randall Irvy Jr. And uh, you can find me on YouTube or MySpace at Craig Irby. So search for me. This next one. Huh? Yeah. This one's called Nice Situation. Wake up, sleepy head. We need to roll ourselves out of bed And got some funny places I would like to show you Don't wear shoes or socks We'll tread the water, not the slippery rocks Till we find ourselves in perfect destination I said don't forget it, I'm in love You did it, I'm just wondering how long did it take for you to know that I'm stuck on being with you? What else can I do? I just can't thank you enough because you showed me a nice situation in me. Because you showed me a nice situation. Lemon dry, I'm gonna raise up to the mountaintops till the sunlight is hidden by the moonshine. Don't forget your coat, we're gonna sail out on a paddle boat. You'll be off into the starry night in no time. Well, don't forget it, I'm in love. You did it, I'm just wondering how long did it take for you to know. I'm stuck on being with you What else can I do? I just can't thank you enough Oh, because you showed me A nice situation indeed Because you showed me A nice situation
Thank you. Right. Do one more real quick. All right. Love you, man. Yeah, dude, rock on. <laughs> Ten minutes. Yeah, that's cool. No, what? Maybe. Whatever you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. My name is Craig Irby. Check me out. All right, thanks. Two more songs. All right. Oh, hey.
just for fun. Here we go. This one's called uh, another original a song called Love You. Probably going to be turned up on the guitar just a little bit because it's a finger picking song. Say that it'll make you stay. I've been right here listening. You've been out to see fishing. I didn't know what I was missing, so here's what I gotta say. I love you, even when the sun comes up, even when I've had enough. I need you, even through the pouring of rain, even when I go insane. I love you when the monsoon takes me away, as long as I can see your face. I love you. Love. As you can see that I've kind of been thinking our relationship is sinking and we need to find another way. And I've also kind of been thinking that it's you I want to see myself spending all the rest of my day. Cause I know that it's real. And I'll stop playing the fear. I need to know the deal. So here's what I gotta say. I love you. Even when I've had enough, I need you. Even through the pouring of rain, even when I go insane, I love you when the monsoon takes me away. As long as I can see your face, cause I love you. I love you. Oh, no, no, no. Wrap it up, say no. Unexpected, ill-advised. Hey, you wanna, we got one more. What? We got one more. I'm just playing along with you, bro. All right. Okay. Uh, uh. What do you wanna play? You got play with This one's called So Sweet. Well, can I come over? Well, can I come closer to you? 
The way that you walk has me thinking that I have been possibly drinking Cause I am intoxicated Yeah, I have been always waiting on you It's so amazing Damn, my heart is racing You look so sweet They're just so damn amazing. I just want to know how they taste. Girl. Can I come over? Or can I come closer to you? The way that your walk has me thinking that I have been possibly drinking. Because I am intoxicated. Yeah, I have been always waiting on you. You're so amazing. Damn, my heart is racing. You look so sweet. Check me out, Craig Irby on MySpace YouTube. This is my buddy Brian Barlow playing the drums. It's great. Thank you guys so much for Thank joining you. us. Oh, we're going to have a little bit of a transition. We're going to have them uh, clear off. We've got someone else coming on. But right now we're going to talk to Richard and Shannon. Richard's <clears throat> is that my mic or someone else's?